Thank you for staying with us. Roll up, roll up. There's nothing like a traditional stew to warm you up. During the colder months of today, we're going to be cooking just that. Charlo, the chef, is with us now, and you're making a Ringsend stew. Ringsend stew brings me back all the years to my childhood going down to my nan's house and pigeon house. So, is this your nanny's stew? This is my nanny's stew. What oh. I can remember anyway, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember, you know, when you're trying to tickle your taste buds? Yes. But uh, look, we're making this a stew. This is Nanny Clark now? This is Grand Clark, yeah. Granny this is Grand Clark with okay. Pigeon House Road, okay? okay. So, and what, what a lady. God, God be good oh, to her. God okay. be good to her. So, yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to start off, we're going to make the stew and then yes. we're going to make the dumplings. Is that okay? Oh. What we're using for the stew, we're just going to smoke it out here. What we're using for the stew is we're using some nice lamb shoulder. Beautiful. Now, shoulder or neck is the best meat to use in a stew. And why, okay. why is that? Because I'll tell you why. Our shoulders are nice and tough, so Simon, just tense up there. So you've got a fine pair of shoulders on you there, but your shoulders much. do all the work. They do. So they're nice and tense and but they're tough. To cook them low and slow, don't and you? Low and slow, low right. and slow. So that's, that, that's favourite, it. isn't it? So we preheat the oven, okay? <clears throat> okay. You're going to put them in around 150 degrees and you're going to look at maybe two hours, two and a half hours, Lovely. okay? Depending on, how much depending on how much you want to bring it on. Okay. But after two hours, you've got a perfect stew. So you're actually okay? butcher to dice up the piece of shoulder for you? Dice up the piece of shoulder and ask them then to trim it as best he can, okay? okay? The shoulder, as you see there, is nice and marble and there's a nice bit of fat yeah, in it as well, lovely. right? So we're going to pop it in here, okay? Now what we're doing here, the technique called seal, we're going to seal, we're going to seal our, our, our lamb first, okay. okay? Now, just a few, just a few little, um, just a few little house house rules, okay? okay? You know, you're asking your butcher to trim it, you normally get your meat in a bag, okay? So decant that in safely when you bring it home into a tupperware container or, uh, you know, with a little seal okay, lid. Yeah. Always store your raw meat in the bottom of your fridge, okay? okay. And then also, when you, well, there's no cross-contamination, when, when you're cooking your lamb stew, always make sure that um, you uh, wash your hands if you're handling raw meat, and if you have to trim a small bit yourself, use different colour coated balls, okay. okay? So we don't have any cross contamination. So what we're going to do is just going to let that seal for a second. And all you're looking to get here is a nice brown colour. A nice brown. One, one or two minutes here, and what you're doing is you're locking in all the flavours, okay? okay? We're going to just jump ahead and talk about the dumplings, okay? Beautiful. Dumplings are like um, a great accompaniment to any stew, okay? Yeah. So what we need for dumplings is we need some flour, okay? So we're dropping in some flour, we have a pinch of salt. We've got some suet, okay? This is a beef suet. You can also get vegetable suet. Get that from your butchers. Get that from your butchers or your local supermarket. We have some bacon powder. I'm going to chop in some uh, chopped rosemary. Now, I'm using rosemary and mint for the dish today. You can crack that egg for me, Simon. Perfect I'm using ro rosemary and mint for the dish today because rosemary and mint with lamb is, uh, you know, they it, it, it complement each other so well. So all I'm doing is... Just drop a drop of water, Chef? Just th three tablespoons of water and also a half a tablespoon. Now, this is optional, but I just find with the dumplings, this gives it a really amazing flavour. It's a, a half a teaspoon of concentrated mint sauce. Mint sauce. Yeah, so mint sauce and lamb go, go really well oh, together. Half, uh, so what we're going to do is I'll just, much of this, just a half a teaspoon. You can mix that all up, Simon, for me, okay? Certainly, yeah. A little it's bit of butter as well, yeah, No, no, leave the butter out, leave the butter out. That's okay. for later, okay? Now, as you can see here, all our lamb pieces have all got coating on it. Jumped ahead a little bit. I'm using a kilo of lamb, shoulder lamb here today, Simon, okay? Okay. Now it's my nice little uh, roasting pot here. Gorgeous. I was over my mother's last night and we, uh, oh. we roasted this one up. Oh, did you make it for Mammy last night? I made you? it for Mammy last night, did yeah. Did Mammy give it a thumbs up? Oh, absolutely. She loved the dumplings as well. Happy days. Okay, so now, mm. as I was saying, this is a really one-pot wonder, okay? Okay. Now, we're going to add in our Just root, a quick root one vegetables. here, Chef. Am I trying to get this into a dough, is a it? A little dough, yeah. So what we might do is we might add a little bit more. And that's it. It's trial and error. You want to get into a sort of nice little dough. We're going to shape them into balls, okay? Okay. Pop them on top of the shoe. So now, basically, you've got your meat sealed. And now, we're going to add in our vegetables. So we've got all root vegetables here. And don't forget about the, the fabulous Irish potatoes, okay? And this uh, is why it's, our, our recipe here, our Irish stew, is world-renowned, okay? okay? So we've got our carrots, we've got our celery, we've got our, our onions, we've got our potatoes, and all just cut into nice sort of... A bit of turnip in there as well? We've a bit of sweet in oh, there man, as well. Sweet or turnip, yeah. Now, we don't have to be too particular with the cut. Because, you, you know, the bigger the better, because if you're going to let it go low and slow... But you, you need want to them have all around the same size so they'll come at the same yeah, time. Not too small, because you don't want them yeah, all to dissolve, it'll okay? go to nothing, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what we have here, then, is ask your butcher, when you're getting your meat, ask your butcher for a couple of lamb bones. Roast right. them off a little bit, a little bit of olive oil. Roast them off at a high temperature, about 10 minutes. Okay. Take them out, and you're going to pop them into your shoe as well, with some rosemary and with some thyme, OK? OK. So, basically, rosemary that's what we're doing. Rosemary is one of the best friends for lamb. Rosemary oh. and mint, isn't it? Yeah, rosemary and mint, yeah, and thyme as well. So, this, these are from the herb garden, OK? They survive the whole, the whole winter, so, I mean... It's, it's, it's a sturdy yeah. herb. And we're going in with a little bit of beef stock. So, if you haven't got... Well, this is fresh beef stock. Why not lamb stock? La lamb, lamb stock, beef stock, chicken stock, whatever you have, OK? okay. If you've got veg stock at home, throw the veg stock in, because 
The flavours are going to come through anyway, okay? Yeah, you're going to get you're serious going to... flavours from those bones, Charlie, aren't uh, you? Unbelievable. I mean, it, bring, it brings it all through, and I'm you don't splash yourself, but it brings it all through. And this is the whole thing, it's the depth of flavour. It's what yeah. you're building up. And there's your one-pot wonder. Bring it to the boil. When you, We're going to bring it to the boil while we're making our dumplings, okay? Yeah. Bring it to the boil, pop your lid on, and then it goes into the oven. Now, what we're going to do next is, in real time, okay? We're, yeah. we're having the time here, but in real time, bring it to the boil for about 10 minutes, and when it boils, then you shape your dumplings, okay? All right, okay. So we have all our dumplings in there. A little bit of salt and pepper into the dumplings, okay? Okay. Okay. And also then we can salt and pepper into our into our stew as well, okay? Okay. Don't forget your salt and pepper, okay? All right. Lovely. We're gonna bring that to the boil and then what we do is just I wash my hands folks, okay? So we're just gonna pop these out and you should get it to 10 to 12 balls out of this dumpling recipe that I have on, okay? Okay. Okay, they are a little bit sticky, but the stickier the better because that then you get a nice crust on it. Beautiful. So yeah. you bake this for an hour and a half and slow and slow in the oven to pop it out. These go in for the last 25 minutes to 30 okay. minutes. And you don't want to submerge them in the liquid, just leave them on top yeah, so that exactly. the top half yeah. of it will crust up. Uh, yeah, and trust me, if you haven't tried dumplings before, <clears> you've got to do it. It's really, really simple. The recipe's on my website and on, the, on TV3's yeah. website. And Virgin Media. Virgin, Me Virgin Media, Charlo, sorry. Come Virgin on, get Media. with it now. Come on. <laughs> Virgin Media, yeah, That's exactly. a fine. You're going to find for yeah, that now. It's a <laughs> case of beer you have to bring in next week, Charlo. <laughs> no problem. Uh, so. My sister makes a beef stew every, all the time and she always yeah. makes dumplings with us. Oh, it's a great alternative to Like, you can leave the spot. Yeah. Like and look, you if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're doing a beef stew, thyme, a thyme dumpling is brilliant. Gorgeous. If you're doing um, like a, like a, um, uh, a chicken, something like chicken stew, you know, sage and onion is great. Gorgeous. You know, so you can play yeah. around with it, you know. And also, like, you know, the stew, stew tart, just wash my hands. The stew is uh, our Irish stew, but also, you know, you have like in Spain, you, have, you have your paellas and, and then you have in... Um, in uh, in France, you have bourguignons, you know, and you, you have want all this. To, you want this to be rustic. I mean, you're not looking for perfect exactly shapes. Exactly. You know, yeah. you want a little yeah. bit rustic, like you have it. So exactly. So what we've done now is you pop. So an hour and time. a half. An hour and a half. You pop in your, your dumplings. Okay. Okay. And you're, so you, you want to give them no more than 25 minutes, half an exactly. hour. Exactly. Now your liquor, as you know, as I've sort of filled up the top, your that liquor will, will reduce yeah, down. Yeah. Okay. okay. And um, then you get this nice crust on. So pop it into your oven again and. You leave it at the same temperature, 150 for 25 minutes. Okay. okay. And then what we do and is, then, and then this what is do, what happens. Yeah, we take out. So I've got crude, yeah, I've got um, This has been checked and double checked this morning, but the flavours and the aroma is amazing. Okay? Oh, yeah. Amazing. Now we'll just pop this stew in here. Well, in fairness, since eight yeah. o'clock this morning since you came in, the, the studio has been filled with this beautiful smell of this stew cooking. And what you have, beautiful. okay? With all stew. Are you ready for this now? What we have, the big reveal. What we have at all Did stew the dumplings be... sink or did <laughs> they swim? We're about to find out. Oh, they swam. And what you have, oh, what you... baby, they swam. And what you, have, what you have is the dumplings soak up. So you see what I said, put in the Look how big more... they've gone, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the, the dumplings act as like a sponge and they soak it up, okay? Oh, the flavour. And what we have is a nice, you want to achieve this nice crusty top yeah, and then you have gorgeous. a nice fluffy inside, full of flavours. Don't forget, we put the mint sauce in there, we put the, the rosemary, the fresh mint, yeah. and a little bit of fresh parsley over the top, okay? Beautiful. And I'd sit that in front of the table, in the middle of the table, with give a everyone a little bowl, a little bowl, a bit of ladle, okay? And what you do is you, you have your chit chat and you just dip in there. And like, it's important as well to, to, to just bone, if you can see there, yeah. you have the bone sticking out here, okay? So leave the bone in because you're getting all your full flavour there. Of course okay? you are, yeah, yeah. And then as well, if you look at the vegetables, the vegetables haven't dissolved. They were a nice big chunky cut, so they haven't dissolved. And you have an amazing liquor as well, okay? Look now, at what, this what, bad boy. what we serve, what's traditionally served with our lamb stew is <clears> our <throat> soda bread. So I have a little bit of soda bread here that I have some Irish butter on it. And it really is or Ireland on a plate. Ah, uh, look it's at this. Ireland on a plate. There's people sitting in bars in Australia and America sipping pints, one wishing. They could be at home having their mammy stew. Absolutely. Charlo, fantastic. Recipe details Thanks are up much. on our website. I'm and on the uh, Virgin Media website and Charlo well the done. Chef's website. The recipe, of course, is uh, at charlothechef.com. Your own website's up there as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. And as ever, as ever, can I, can I just mention own. before yeah, we go about do. the light up of life and happening tomorrow week in my new job in Harrow's Cross, Our Lady's Hospice. Hospice. Yeah, it's a great gig. There's 15,000 people. Jim Flavin's coming up with a Sam Maguire Cup. Be there. It's a great show. And he'll make yeah. a shoe. Back in a few minutes. Thanks.